Okay. Well, this sucker's let me down. Yeah, let me believe that. Uh, <laughs> when you can't, when you actually run it off the mains, it gets to about uh, 40 maybe, with your finger over the end. <laughs> Sorry, your thumb over the end, and she just can't take any more. Try it on car tires and stuff like that. Just doesn't want to know. Um, just <laughs> doesn't hold a charge anymore. So that pretty much makes it useless to me. It doesn't even charge the battery because I mean you don't know because this dial does not seem to work for the battery charger. So uh, we tried, you know, oiling the compressor and stuff like that in there. But ultimately, you can't polish a turd. So <laughs> it was scrap picked anyway. It came out of a out of a skip. You've seen this all before. It's like you know, you've got your copper in. Well, your copper plate probably. Well, I mean this is nice thick gauge copper wire. So and that's going to go in there. But first of all, let's crack this open and see what we got. So yeah, as usual, we're using the double sider because well, I've got like 60, 70 bloody uh, screwdrivers. Can I find any others? Nope. So the screws, one, two, in there, in there, in there, in there. I think there's one underneath as well. Then it should come into two plastic molded pieces. Pretty good screws actually. I've not mauled the heads too bad, so they'll go in the washing powder box for uh, other projects. See, I knew it wasn't that old, <laughs> but as I say, it's not keeping a charge. And can we get to these? Can we get to these? No, we cannot, because of these. And they have a screw that goes right in the bottom of there, but I haven't to hand got a screwdriver. Let's see if you can see. It'll go all the way down there. So, I'm just going to hit it with a hammer and smash it off, because I'm lazy. I'm just sitting down today. <laughs> Bottle opener works well. Ready. Get a bit of a waggle. Oi, there you go. So, straight away we got... Oh, not a lot that side. But we got the big old battery. Oh, and there's the screws falling out. Some light there, I think that is. Or maybe, is that the pressure gauge? No, the pressure gauge is over there. So that's a, oh no, that's a um, cigarette charger. So you've got some crappy, crappy little boards there. I'm slinging them. I am keeping the other ones. But, um, just now, the ones that are unstrippable. Uh, but these, got that. That is real nice, chunky. We just have a look. Hold on. Have a look in there. Can you see that? Hold on. Let's try that again. See the very tip in there? I'm holding this, that's why it's shaking because it's got a blooming great spring on it. But in there you see, this is like uh, degaussing wire from the back of a TV. So it's nice and thick, so whip that off. I think that's copper plate, but we'll find out in a sec. Trusty magnet. Ooh. Oh, I don't know, let's pull that off. We'll have a little look. But I'll go to this side now, because we know what's in here. This will keep, uh, do go on your, um, just go for a good web search basically. Uh, it took me quite a while, but the guy local here uh, that will actually pick these up, ranging this will probably be about a pound, small on this 50p. You know, car batteries two pounds to up to five pounds. He'll actually come and collect them uh, from you, which means non-delivery for you. You don't have to bother. Just keep them in your yard, which he got. You know, quite a few of them. Give him a bell. Come get it. He wasn't the first one that came up on the search. Uh, I didn't just use Google, I used other meta searches such as dog pile and stuff like that. Just have a really good look. It did take a couple of hours, but huh, I was hungover, had nowhere else to be. What the hell? And it ultimately gets me a couple of quid, doesn't it? And all I do is just take that and pull it to one side. Uh, burglar alarms will have the same kind of battery backup. I'll test this and see if it's actually any good, but I could not get it to hold a charge, as you can see in here. There's just random stuffage, so I don't know what the hell. That's broken off of. But anyway, on to the rest. Let's dismantle this. Yep, copper plate. Again, didn't mull it too much coming off. So, off for the extras for the little projects. That's our extras pile so far. Just for the little projects and things like that. The only thing that can be usable. Why buy it when you can use it? Same as these lock nuts. So, there you go. We've got our pretty big piece of wire there, so if I pull this shroud in off, we'll get to see what the prize is. So I just raised that off, and look what we got. Yee-hoo! Now, remember, when using razors, 
if you're wrong a little, get an adult to come slice their hands open on it. But there you go. It's a nice, big, chunky piece of copper in there. It's quite well insulated wire, so it might have to pass through to the holes on the old wire stripper there. But there you go. I'm going to leave that attached at the moment. Just put it in the to-be-stripped pile. Obviously, I'm just going to break this apart and uh, take it off as close to the actual grips as possible. Okay? There you go. Always dig a little deeper. These uh, nuts on the back plate are actually uh, brass. Solid brass. Okay, let's get into this and see what's in here. I think it's just a switch, but there may be some big duty connectors. You never know. It's pretty hard for you to tell if it's so shiny, but uh, you can tell when people have put these together with electric screwdrivers, the tops of these screws are absolutely mauled, so won't be keeping these ones. I don't know about you, but that's pretty damn duty. Big red button. <laughs> Um, I'm going to pull these two and we'll see what's inside there. If there's nothing much, I'll keep it as whole because <laughs> I quite like that. I have no use for it at the moment, but come on, man. Okay. I don't know why I bother zeroing in with this thing and then as soon as I turn the camera on, I move it anyway because I'm an idiot, but whatever. Right, <clears throat> it's just steel. There's a big spring there, so when you take these off, it will fly all over the room. Just warning you. So keep thumb, forefinger. Okay, as you turn this, like a screw, twists and the two plates connect with these so they become a switch there you go that's how that works massive spring in there nothing worth having it's just steel so i'll keep it as a unit you never know big on off switch why not well that's off the back of the cigarette lighter fixture the one in my card is broke so that'll be going on the focus in a bit there you go nice lasso that you can put around the back nice big bass screw connector it goes inside there that with, that's where the tip hits, darlings. So, let's go in the brass pile. Strip out any little tiny wires out there and just put them in. Uh, the circuit boards can go for a burton. Goodbye bye. And uh, we'll look at the battery. Now, notice the battery is 2009, so it's sitting around for a year before. And so, again, two terminals. Just disconnect these, get my wire off, get this wire off, and this can go in the shrubs pile. Well, here's the other half. One, two, three screws and two tiny wires and under here should be the compressor. Well there you go tubes. Got a motor. Runs this cog. You can see in there. Piston goes up and down. And off it goes out through here. So you got some lovely rubber hoses. Take the clips off. Cast aluminium. Cast aluminium. Have to double check this bit in the middle but probably cast. And you got a big fat electric motor. So you can either chuck them in as motors, or uh, probably with this size, chuck them in as, as motors. But if we can pull this out dead quick, we'll have a look at it to see whether it's worth actually dismantling. But more than likely, motor size. I've checked. It's one of those with the, the magnets on the outside, and all the windings are on the inside. Near, nigh on impossible for you to unwind it, so just chuck it in as a motor. I will show you, though, what it looks like. Pretty similar to this. You can see, I've had a go, but you can try snipping it, bashing it through, and all that. It's fiddly as hell. Swayman as a motor, the steel weighs more, to be honest with you. So I took the rod out of this because it was like a hitting die for us. But they are fiddly as hell, and these things don't help, these plastic pieces down there. Yellows are going in the bin, cogs will go in the bin, aluminium, motors, hoses, switches, gauges, put in the recycle pack. Why not? Alright, that's it for me. Any questions, comments, whatever, bang them in below. Uh, I'm not going to give you a face shot today because I have huge hair and beard. It's back, kids. Bigger, bushier than ever.